Hey guys, it's John again with the Pink Prusa. I uh, I want to give you an update. I've been having some trouble since I boasted about my settings being perfect with my settings. Go figure. So uh, what I've done, I've been spending all week in and out of the forums and the IRC trying to get my settings right to go from this, this poor print in my opinion, To go from this all kind of blobby and everything. The bottom looks fine, of course. The inside is a crap. The exact part's broken. Okay. To go from that to this. A lot cleaner. Much cleaner. The top looks a lot better. Perfect. There was uh, some small blobby, not blobby really, just extra threads right there. I cleaned those up. There's some th extra threads in between these, this lot. Um, and some extra threads that came from this section over to here, which weren't too bad. I just scraped them off with a, with a knife and they came right off. This is solid. This is a nice, strong piece. It's not going to break. So now I believe I am ready to start printing up the sets. I already have a Prusa, Prussia, sorry, uh, made up, ready to go, kind of. I'm waiting on motors and electronics right down there. Those are all my own parts. All those my own parts. Let's see. That's my own source uh, threaded rod. And uh, all my own parts I've made myself. And they look pretty good. This is from before I actually had my software meltdown. This is for that one backer that has bought a whole new kit. And I have four motors ready to go for him. I need to order a fifth. And there seems to be a shortage of electronics in the RepRap community, at least on the online vendors. I'm going to try to go for Gen 7 or Gen 6 for that one. So that's the update for this week. Uh, I'm going to keep printing out tonight until uh, my wife tells me we need to go to bed. So that's all I got. Thanks.